Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is August 31st. It's, and just like that, it's gone. We are in the burrs. Tomorrow we will be in the burrs. I'm so excited. It has been a very interesting week. Um, I'm just thinking back on all the things that have gone on this week. Um, I want to take a moment to say that while I'm trying to be, this is positivity, right? We're being positive. Um, that doesn't mean bad things don't happen, don't happen, right? So there are maybe times in your life when you are uh, feeling down, feeling like no one's listening, your voice isn't being heard, um, that no one is there, right? Um, you give and you give and you give. And then when you need help, when you need something, um, you reach out to those that are, you know, that you've helped in the past and crickets, right? You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I think that in this time of uh, social media, that the same thing happens. Um, we, we put out these messages. We reach out into the webosphere looking for support and it's just not there sometimes. Um, so what I recommend is take a moment and look for someone you can support, right? Because just like you, they may be feeling the same. And when we send out that energy, when we send out that positive message, it comes back to us. So when you're in a place where you feel like no one is hearing you, take a moment to listen to someone else. Take a moment to hear their their story and and you don't have to fix it right you don't have to fix it no one's asking you to fix it just listen um and that will create an environment that will have others listen to you as well um so that's my little message for today um we're gonna pull a card from the river witch oracle which is why you're here don't forget your tea for today. Did I say that already? Um, the River Witch Oracle is a deck that I created as a way to look at the energy of my area. Um, I've spent my entire life in Eastern North Carolina and um, I find that when I start researching magical traditions and things like this, you know, there's all these um, other paths that they want us to learn or that are available to learn. Um, they talk about, you know, the magic of this country or that country or this tradition or that tradition. And um, we forget that a lot of all of those traditions are here. Um, they were brought in either by force or through the desperation of trying to find somewhere else to live and grow. Um, so I wanted to focus on that energy, something that I connected with specifically. So that's why I created this deck and we're gonna pull our first card. First card, I did it again. Y'all who've been here a while know what I'm talking about. So here's our card for today. This is the poppet. <clears throat> I love this image. The poppet's key words are intent, connect, and responsible. So when we think about a puppet, right, we think about voodoo dolls, we think about effigies, we think about anything that you use to focus your magical energy on a specific person, right? So that's the, that's the historical context of a puppet. Um, it is a, I don't have one with me, I should put one on my little table so I can show you. But basically, it's usually just a little stuffed doll. There's damn it dolls. I'm sure you've seen those where the mundane world has kind of tapped into the uh, to the puppet uh, market, if you will. Um, but they're meant to focus your energy, right? To focus your energy and your magic on a specific person. Um, so think about today, focusing your energy, focus your intent. Find that thing that you need to change, that thing that you want to change, and put that intent somewhere else, right? Put it on that individual item. 
put it there, do it, burn it, get rid of it, now it's done, right? So this is uh, very symbolic of um, letters to um, those who have harmed you, right? You write a letter to them, you read the letter out loud, and you burn the letter, right? This is something that's cathartic, that's meant for you. Um, our next word is connect, right? So we want to connect our energy to that object or to that item. We want to focus allow that energy to resonate, and then let it go, right? We don't want to keep that energy there. Final word is responsible. Regardless of what the world would like you to believe, if you roll into a room, you know, guns a blazing, then you're responsible for that energy and all the chaos that it creates. So before you engage, right, check your energy because ultimately you are responsible for that. Some people don't wanna hear that, right? I may get some thumbs downs, but you know what? It's on you. If you roll up into a room being all negative, expect negativity back because that's what you're gonna get. Um, if you wanna be positive, if you wanna get a positive result, think about the way you approach people. Think about our vlog on giraffe, right? Remember giraffe ears? Think about that. If you roll into somewhere, um, you know, demanding things and, and not listening and understanding, you're going to get that same thing back. So that's our card for today, the Poppet card. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you haven't had a chance, be sure to check out the latest uh, vlog post on compassion. Um, I'm doing a series on the five virtues of Hecate, so you can find that on my channel. Um, have a glorious day today, and I'll talk to you soon.